Hello, my dear students. Welcome to a new English session. Today, we are going to have an interesting English lesson. And this is Unit 8, Lesson 5 in our Connect book. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Today, we are going to talk about something called the water cycle. Have you ever heard about the water cycle? Do you know what is the meaning of the water cycle? And how can we describe it? This is what we are going to talk about. The water cycle means that the water on our planet moves all the time. And this movement is called the water cycle. So, let's start. Let me tell you something. The water cycle has some stages. And these stages are evaporation, condensation, precipitation, and finally, we have accumulation. So, what is the first stage in the water cycle? It's evaporation. Evaporation. What is evaporation? What's the meaning of that? Let's look at this picture here. In this picture, you have the sun, you have the water of the ocean or the sea. So, what happens to the water of the, sip of the sea or the ocean? I will tell you. The heat of the sun makes the water of the sea, the ocean, or the river very hot on Earth. So, when the water becomes very hot, it turns into water vapor. And what happens to the water vapor? It goes up to the sky. The water vapor goes up to the sky in the evaporation process. So, this is the first one. What happens after that? I will tell you. This is the second stage. The second stage is called condensation. Condensation. What is condensation? I will tell you. Condensation means that the water vapor, which goes up to the sky, of course, it becomes cold or colder. When it becomes colder, this is called condensation. And when the water vapor becomes colder, we have drops of water which are formed and they go together to form the clouds. Just as you see here in this picture. You can see here the water vapor that goes up to the sky, then it becomes colder. The water vapor will form the water drops, which form the clouds because they go together. This is condensation, don't forget. So, number one, it's evaporation. Number two, it's condensation, don't forget. Let's go to the third one. The third one, as you can see here, yes, yes, exactly as you see, this is rain. How can the rain be formed? This is the third stage in our water cycle today. It is called precipitation. 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 This is the third stage. Of course, the water vapor goes up, it becomes cooler, forms the clouds. The clouds go together and move very fast because the wind helps the clouds to go fast, move, and come together. When all of these clouds come together, they become heavy and they are full of water. Of course, the water will fall. And when the water falls, we have the rain. This is called precipitation. Precipitation. And here we have the rain that we all enjoy and like. I like it so much. What about you? Tell me. Okay. After that, we come to the next stage. And the next stage is called accumulation. Accumulation. What is accumulation? What happens after we have the rain? This is the accumulation process or the accumulation stage. In the accumulation stage, we have the water that goes into the earth, rivers, and the sea. This is accumulation. And then the water cycle starts again. The water cycle is continuous all the time. It never stops. Do you know this? When I'm talking to you now, we have the water cycle. It's continuous. Don't forget. Now, let's remember together these important points. 
Look at the first question. In which process does the water go into the earth, rivers, and the sea? In which one? Is it evaporation or accumulation? Hmm, what do you think? Again, let's say this question. In which process does the water go into the earth, rivers, and the sea? Very good! Exactly! Of course, this is the accumulation stage. Excellent, my friends. This is accumulation. Very good. I'm so proud of you. Let's go to the next question. Pay attention to this. In which process does the water go into the sky? Oh, let's remember. Is this evaporation or it's condensation? Again, in which process does the water go into the sky? Hmm, let's remember condensation or evaporation. Oh, yes, yes. Say it loudly. I can hear you all saying it. Very good. Exactly. It's evaporation. Again, in the evaporation process, the water vapor goes up to the sky. Very good. Let's see another one. In which process does the water fall on the sea and earth? Oh, I think it's very easy. I know that all of you know it. Is it precipitation or condensation? What do you think? What do you think? Evaporation? Condensation? Precipitation? When we have the rain falling from the sky to the earth. Very, very good. Exactly. This is, of course, precipitation. Precipitation? is when the rain that we all love comes from the sky and falls to the ground. Okay, today we talked about the water cycle. It is very easy. Is it easy? Great job! Of course it's easy. Today we talked about the water cycle. I hope you all enjoyed it and wait for me. We are going to talk about a lot of topics. Bye-bye!